What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor 100, and you're going to be watching Showdown to the Top, Episode 3. Thank you for coming to this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and a comment on what you like about this particular video. I know it's been a while since my last upload. Life happens, and you just have to go through it until you get a chance to do it. Anyway, so here we go. Let's jump right into the team preview for this episode. Okay, so the first Pokemon in the squad is Zygarde, complete form, holding the leftovers with the ability Power Construct. Substitute Thousand Arrows, Coil, and Outrage. The main purpose here is to have Zygarde be a setup Pokemon so it can sweep the opposition. Okay, so the secondary Pokemon is Arceus Steel. You don't see this Arceus anywhere. I'm packing the Refresh, Will-O-Wisp, Iron Head, and Recover for this particular Arceus set. Iron Plate is the held item for Arceus, so it remains Steel type throughout the battle. The EV spreads a little, a little weird. Yes, I agree with that. Mass HP, 32 attack, 148 special defense and 76 speed. It is to outspeed certain things, certain threats, and it can also be very defensive as well. And that's what our CS Steel is supposed to be in this particular video, be defensive. And now here's a Pokemon that you'll probably see a lot in these videos, it's Primal Groudon. Yes, he's going to be our Stealth Rocker for this video. Stealth Rock, Fire Punch, Precipitous Blades and Stone Edge. I was torn between Precipitous Blades or Earthquake. For Addy Power, I'm going to go with Precipitous Blades. Maybe next time I'll go for Earthquake. You never know. So we see Alakazam next on the squad, holding the Focus Sash, the ability Magic Guard, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast. Pure Offense with max special attack, max speed, and 4 in special defense. Focus Sash guarantees a... not necessarily a KO right away, because we can survive a hit. So we'll guarantee to live one hit, and then we can retaliate back with our sheer psychic powers. Our Mega for the video is Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar is such an amazing Pokemon in the Ubers tier, mainly because it has so much coverage and stab options, mainly Sludge Wave and Shadow Ball. Hidden Power S and Thunder provide excellent coverage. Since there's a lot of dragons and a lot of flying types, most notably Ho-Oh, Rayquaza, Yveltal, and other dragons like Dragonite and... Let's just say, you know, there's a lot of Pokemon. I can't notice all of them. But, point is, Mega Gengar has so much coverage, to handle those Pokemon. And to wrap it all up, we have Eveltal as our last Mon. It pairs up very nicely with RCS Steel because it is another defensive set here. Eveltal is carrying leftovers with Dark Aura, Toxic, Taunt, Defog, and Oblivion Wing. Toxic is going to be very critical in this game. Toxic is one of the best moves in the Uber tier. We have Taunt to prevent Stealth Rocks and Spice, but if they do get across us, we have Defog to get rid of them. The catch here is, you have to get rid of the opposing Stealth Rocks and Spice. We also have Oblivion Wing for coverage. I was thinking either that or Roost, but I feel like Oblivion Wing adds a little bit of a niche there. We'll see different kinds of evolve calls throughout the series, but I think this one in particular pairs up very nicely. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. It's probably not the best team in the world, but I can make it work. This team is legit enough that I can make it work, I promise you. So, let's jump right into the battles. Here we go! Alright, before we start the matches, let's go ahead and check out our ranking. I forgot to do this in the last video. You'll notice a change when I type it all in here. We go to the Gen 7 Ubers. Let me highlight that for you real fast. 
You see, it's 10 wins and 5 losses. There we go, I got it right there. 10 wins, 5 losses for 15 total battles. I used the wrong account for a practice, and I was actually doing a collaboration as well with Kubal98. I use this account instead of the other account. So I get a few battles on there, which is kind of... I didn't realize it until the end of the battles, but that's okay. So my ranking is higher for this video. Uh, we see my first opponent here. He has a Kieran Black, Kyogre, uh, Willy Colo. It looks like Gengar is a great candidate to start out because it can hit everything for some neutral damage. We see Tapu Koko starting out. I don't know what he's going to do, he's going to probably Volt Switch, and if that's the case, I will be able to take it. So, I'm going to go for the, I guess I could go for the Switch Wave. I don't want to predict too early in the game. Shadow Ball is really good for coverage, hits everything for some damage. We don't take out Tapu Koko, he has Light Screen as well, which is a little unfortunate, but it's only there for a few turns anyway. Interestingly enough, he has Electro Web, it's going to make me a lot slower. I don't want to stay in on Lolicolo because of the light screen. I can't really do much damage to it. So I'm going to go into the belt tell here as he goes for the Grass Knot. Really good play right there for me. Now I can go for the Toxic or Oblivion Wing. I I think Karen Black is coming out. I'm not sure, but he does. Okay, so let's I was close to going for Toxic because it would have been a much better play in my opinion, but that is okay. Most of the Fusion Bolt, as I try going for Toxic, I missed it unfortunately. I have done so much to myself there to knock out this current. I'm hoping he doesn't use anything crazy, so I'm going to go into uh, Primal Gravon. Okay, cool. So I, I predicted him to use Fusion Bolt, but like, if you want to predict something else, then that's fine too. I'm gonna go with my Stealth Ox too. We are switching a lot in this game already. I'm gonna go for the Fire Punch. It is Sun Boosted as well. Uh, unfortunately, he went for the Fake Out as well. Nothing you can do about that. So I'm gonna go for the Fire Punch. Again, it's Sun Boosted. Easy Wipeout. We see Kyogre. It's not Primal. That's interesting. I feel like he could have been Primal. He should be Primal anyway. Primal Kyogre would be a much better checkmate to Groudon. Because of this, I go for the Precipitous Blaze and I knock him out. So here's Karen Black. I'm hoping he doesn't use anything weird. He has Free Shock. Oh, crap. I don't want anyone to take that hit. So I'm going to have to sacrifice Zygarde. I was going to use him in this fight. He is indeed the main Pokemon for this video, but next time he will, I promise you guys. Again, I mean, to be fair, it was a mistake, so. Um, we see Alakazam surviving a Sub-Zero Slammer. Revenge kill it with the Dazzling Gleam. I know that Scizor has priority, so I'm going to sack him right now. Now, let's go into Primal Gravon again. who have been used a lot in this video already. He's just such a great candidate. There's no question about it, so. I'm predicting him to switch out into something, so I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. I see Incineroar in the back. Okay, he's going to sacrifice his Scizor. That is okay. I guess I'm going to go for the Fire Punch. And I will leave with just Incineroar, so... This will be an easy win for us. I have other Pokemon in the back, like Gengar and Yveltal. I haven't used Arceus at all. Arceus Steel we work in this matchup here, obviously, so I'm going to stay and go for that Precipitous Blaze, and we finish off our opponent just like that. So there we go, we have our first win underneath our belt. We see our secondary opponent here who has a really awesome assortment of Pokemon. You see Giratina, Origin Form, Zygarde, Greninja, Ferrothorn. I'm expecting him to leave out with Ferrothorn, actually, so I'm going to leave out with Groudon. Fire Punch the crap out of it. However, he leaves out with Tossa Pets. Pokemon that you don't see without. Unless he has Tossa Spice. That's interesting. He might actually have that. Yeah, he does. Okay, so we exchange entry hazards here, so. Uh, go for the Precipitous Blaze as he goes into Giratina. 
That was a good play by my opponent. I, I predict, I didn't really predict that to happen necessarily. Both of the Stoneish put some ship damage onto the Garatina for something later, and unfortunately he dragged and tails me into Zygarde. I should be faster, but I'm not sure. What the heck, let's try it. And I am faster. So we knock out Giratina. You could say that the Dragon Tail wasn't the best play for my opponent, but it was a random guess. You wouldn't necessarily predict Zygarde to come in after that. My opponent is making a really good play going into Ferrothorn because of the Iron Barbs and the Rocky Helmet, plus the Leech Seed that he went for. And I'm poisoned as well. There you go. We got our power construct ability is intact. Now we can put some real damage on this thing. I want to put some damage onto it. I know he has protect. That is annoying. But really, what can I do? What can I do? I do have Groudon. So if anything happens here, I have backup plans. So it looks like we're going to have to sacrifice Zygarde a little bit, which is fine. Uh, let's just go for the Outrage. It doesn't matter. I mean, he's not going to take much damage anyway. So, sorry Zygarde, I would have used you a lot better, but this Ferrothorn is obviously a threat. So we're going to Groudon here and scare him out with the Fire Punch, because that's all I can really do at this point. Unless he switches out. I forget him to switch out. He goes for Protect. Okay. Using for scouting. I see. Okay. He wanted to see if I was going to forget anyone, but... Yeah, my initial play is to go for Fire Punch. We see Zygarde of his own here. A shiny Zygarde too, which is extra bonus points. But this is a little unfortunate, because I don't think I have a good answer for Zygarde. If he decides to set up, there's really no way. Shoot, he has Dragon Dance. That is bad news, you guys. And he's in 100% form too. Are you serious right now? That's unfortunate. I don't have a good answer. I do have Focus Sash out because they have Mookie Live with one hit. The question is, can I KO this thing with a Dazzling Gleam? Aw oh, man, I did nothing. Okay, this game is pretty much over. I don't have a good answer. I don't have priority with Arceus. I don't have any other moves that will be faster than this Zygarde here, who is actually recovering a lot of HP with the leftovers. And yeah, this sucks. I want to burn it. You can just go for the Dragon Dance again if he wants to, so... Yes, I am stuck here. It's a little annoying, actually. I'm going for the Refresh. There's really nothing I can do. Yeah, here he goes for the Dragon Dance again. This sucks. I don't know what I should have done. Uh, let me know in the comments on... in this video, actually, uh, what I should have done to prevent this, because he's obviously going to KO me and the rest of the Pokemon that I have remaining. We might be able to knock out Zygarde, but for everyone else, I'm not sure. At least I burned it. I don't think he has any other recovery. I wish I had foul play as well on this. He's all tall. I've had him use foul play in previous matches, but this particular Eveltal spread, or build, I should say, does not carry foul play. For those who don't know, foul play uses the target's attack. So since he's set up with Dragon Dance, Foul Play will do a lot of damage. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is uh, pretty much game over. I don't have a good answer. Even if I went for Oblivion Wing, he is very bulky. Yeah, so we better to KO it, but it's a little too late because he has priority in the form of Greninja. He can go for the Battle Bond here. Yeah, so there's really nothing I can do. I'm just gonna stay in. This game really sucks. I don't like this one one bit. But that's okay. We have other matches to look forward to, right? We have about 30 minutes of this content. That should be fun. My last Pokemon is Mega Gengar. We haven't used him yet in this battle. I don't think I'm going to outspeed it. Yeah, he's got Water Shuriken, which is a priority move. I don't have priority. And on top of that, we missed the thunder. Wonderful. I didn't expect that at all. I'm having some bad luck with this, unfortunately. So, 
good game to my opponent. You played very well. You played really well with the Zygarde, especially going for the Dragon Dances and whatnot. That sucks. So hopefully this match that we have coming up here is a lot better for us. We have one win and one loss underneath our belt now. So searching for a game, I want to use the Zygarde. My opponent in the last fight obviously did it right. Anyway, so let's move on. We see my third opponent. He has a a very interesting team. The only legendary I see is Zerkatry. I'm going out to Gengar again. It's just for the amount of coverage I have against his entire team. We see Greninja, and what better way to revenge kill from the last fight, because that Greninja obviously knocked us out. Let's go ahead and tail him with a thunder, and we actually hit it. So. Good job, Gengar. Now I'm going to go into Velcro here, because I'm breaking this Alkazam to go mega and use Psychic. We are immune to it. So, there you go. Now we can go for the Oblivion Wing and hit something hard, hopefully. Okay, we see Zerkatry. That's unfortunate. I want to just go for the taunt, expecting him to maybe set up. No, he goes for the Thunder. Okay then. Expecting him to do that again. Let's go into Gravon and resist it. Or be immune to it, rather. There we go. Immune to the Thunder. Why don't ya? Now here, let's go for the Skull Socks. We see Chansey and... Chansey, guys, is annoying! I can't tell you, I can't stress this enough. Me and Cobalt 98 we actually saw a Chansey in one of our collaboration videos. It was very, very annoying. Not to mention, it has access to Toxic and Protect. Luckily though, I have Yvelkel here, who has Toxic as well, and we're going to poison it. Give it a taste of its own medicine, hopefully. I hope he doesn't have Heal Bell or something crazy like that. If he has that, that would be unfortunate. He has Protect, I forget him to do that. So let's go into Zygarde and hopefully, hopefully, utilize Substitute and Coil. That's the bottom line of this, or I mean, that's the, the cornerstone of this, su this suck, if I can say it right. Uh, substitute down to the range where we get our 100% form, and we have Coil as well. We have Komo'o, I'm gonna say a Z, there's really no way he's going to survive a hit, I mean, come on now. Yeah, he forfects, guys. There you go, we got our first kill with our Zygarde. How awesome does that feel? Granted, I mean, you could have just figured out a way to get rid of the sub and then go from there, but again, I was already boosted, so... There we go, we got an easy win out of that. Now we're going to our fourth game, and this is good battle. Can't wait to use you in future battles. I am going to use a Scarf Ditto in my future videos. In one of my future videos, I should say. I'm uh, not sure what we got with. Um, probably Deoxys, right? Yeah. Yes, Skullsox. So, I should utilize Evil Call here, which is why I started out with it. Go for the Toxic. Just in case he has a Focus Sash, I nullify it. Oh man, he has Taunt. Unfortunately, I wanted to get rid of the Skullsox. They hampered my team a little bit. It's mainly because, you know, Evolcal and Gengar and a few others. But that's pretty much it. Most of my Pokemon is grounded, so if you have spikes, and you do, I need to use Defog at some point here. We'll see if I have the ability to do that. Salamence, okay. Salamence is a Pokemon that can go Mega. Mega Salamence is pretty powerful, especially when you try to set up. There we go, we got our Defog. We got rid of the entry hazards, the Stealth Loss, and the Spikes. Ooh, we survive! That is, that is beautiful. So we put this Salamence in range of a KO from somebody. Hopefully we can do this. He has Roost. Oh man. I'm very sad to see that. I actually did not expect that move, and we go down because of that, so. We do poison the Salamence, which is important, 
Like I said in the analysis, it's important to have Toxic available because you never know it will come to help you out in the future. We see Alkazam come in and we're going to utilize our Focus Sash, survive the hit, and use Dazzling Gleam to revenge kill. Here's a Pokemon that we have to be aware of and that is Ditto, transforming us into the Alkazam there. He locks himself up into Dazzling Gleam, which is okay, because I have Arceus Steel. We haven't really used much in this video, so let's go ahead and use him right now. We'll burn the Arceus Ghost. I'm not sure what moves he's going to use, but... Okay, it's an Extreme Killer, I see. Extreme Killer! That's why you have Sword Stance and Extreme Speed. Or in this case, Brick Break as well for coverage. I passed two that get no damage whatsoever, so I'm pretty impressed with it. Oh, it's a Z power user, okay. Huh, you survived, that's great. And we retaliate back and we win over that. So, Arceus versus Arceus, Arceus prevails. Awesome. Unfortunately, we have Groudon to deal with, one of the very common Pokemon in the Ubers tier. Of the Iron Head and put some damage. I don't want to switch out into something right now. Can't burn it, obviously. I wish I could because he's going for the Sword Stance. Did he go for Rock Polish too? I think he did. I know I saw him do that at some point. So at plus two, plus two speed Groudon, that's a Pokemon that is, uh, Tough to take. Again, I don't have priority, so we might actually lose this one. Yeah, I know that we're gonna lose this one. I don't have priority. Man, that sucks. So unfortunately this game is over, but I had fun. It was a good battle until Groudon showed up. I wish I had more users to taunt and I wish I had more priority. I think the goal for the next video, guys, is to pack a lot of priority. There you have it. So, this match right here. I'm a little scared of the Xerneas. And he leads off with it. God dang it. What can I do about it? I don't want him to go for the Geomancy. I think he's going to do that. But I want him to go for the Fire Punch. I, I can't afford to set up Stealth Rock right now. This Xerneas is obviously a threat. So we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping I can put a lot of pressure on him. That way I can easily handle the Xerneas, because Geomancy Xerneas, you guys, is something that you just cannot afford to let happen. If you let that set up, you're going to have a lot of issues. So uh, my opponent is taking his time here. I. I don't blame him at all for that. He wants to decide if he wants to set up now or switch out into something. The only good answers are his own Groudon. Okay, cool. He doesn't have... Well, he didn't use it. Why did you forfeit? Why did you forfeit, man? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Okay, so we're off to another match here. No idea why my opponent forfeited. He didn't really do much. Unless he misclicked or something. That's all I can think of. But this match right here is going to be fun. A lot of Pokemon that I really hate. The last score is really annoying. Uh, we also see Darkrai, we see Forges, we see Greninja. Alright, we're going to Evelkel here expecting Earthquake and we dodge it. Fantastic. This is where I wish I had Foul Play. But... Uh, hey, so we poison the Forges. I I wanted to see if he was going to switch out. It wouldn't be a big deal if he did stay in. Because I could just go for the Oblivion Wing, but... Unfortunately, this Forges here has Aromatherapy, which gets rid of the poison. Uh, I'm going to switch out of here and go into Gengar for the typing matchup here, obviously. Please don't get the special attack drop. And I don't get that, which is amazing. Okay, so now, what can you go into? I think it's going to switch out into Venusaur, so we're going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's going to be neutral to everything around his Pokemon lineup 
here. He has a mega... A mega Venusaur. Okay, that's good to know. I have Hidden Power Ice, but his ability, Thick Fat, comes into play right there. If it was a regular Venusaur, I might have been able to KO it. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball here. He's going for Protect. Good idea there, my friend. You gonna get some more HP back, I see. It's okay, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball. And you survive it! Well, that Protect was huge! Okay then, so now, uh, I'm gonna go into the Evolve Tall expecting another Grass type attack or something like that, or Protect. Let's just go for the Oblivion Wing and KO this thing. Why are you going for Protect? You're obviously not going to survive another hit. So, don't use Protect again. Thank you! So we take out Venusaur. It took a little bit longer than it was supposed to, but that is neither here nor there. For this, okay, I really want to have a, a plan of action here. I want to keep Gengar alive, that's the main thing. I can also utilize Arceus Steel as well, so let's go to him right now and see what's going to happen. We'll make this work. Unfortunately, our special attack gets lowered, but I only have Judgment, so that's fine. Or, I, mean, I don't have Judgment, I have Iron Head, my bad. Iron Head's good because I can flinch Pokemon, and uh, I was torn between Judgment or Iron Head, but that's okay, you guys. We have Iron Head, and that's fine as well. I'm going to Evolve Call here. I predicted him to recover. Now I want to poison this thing. If he goes back into Forges or Goliath Score, I guess this will work out fine too. Um, Goliath Score has Poison Heal, so this nullifies it. Yes, still Gosh. Gosh darn it. I don't have a... I mean, I have Defog, but... This will give my opponent an opportunity to go for Knockoff, which I really don't like, because... You know, this default call really appreciates Leftovers. So... What can you do about that? I'm gonna go for the Oblivion Wing. See how much this will do. He goes into Forges again? This thing is physically bulky. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, Angar is at low health, I'm going to utilize it at some point. If I'm able to sack something like Arceus or something else, sack it and then bring in Gengar fresh, we will be able to do that. Let's go for another Iron Head. I don't care about you, Mewtwo. I want you to put some, I want to put some damage on you and then hopefully flinch you. Are you faster? Yeah, you are faster. Fantastic. Get the flinch. No! I need that flinch. Eventually I will get it. I will get it. Oh yeah, Fire Blast too. I didn't see that coming either. Alrighty then, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, okay, I think the best place to go in the game- Oh, the spell thrust. I forgot about that. That was a herp the derp moment. Well, if I'll tell- I should have used Defog when I had the chance. Okay, let's go for the Oblivion Wing and use some damage. At this point, I really need damage on the Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do that. Oblivion Wing again? We just don't have Wish. Okay, I prefer that over Wish at any point of this battle. Oblivion Wing again. See what we can do to kill you. Alright, another Moonblast will knock us out, you want to be aware of that. Aw oh, crap, what did I do? Why did I do that? That was dumb. That was dumb. I did get into my 100% form though. I am faster, but oh, I almost killed it too. Okay. Well, I, I don't know why I did that. I thought that would be a good play, but... That's not really a good play. I mean, we technically took out for this, but the way I did it was kind of weird. I went off the cliff on that one. I took a really risky route to get to where I am right now, carrying the forges and whatnot. But we'll take it. I'll never do that again, though. It's way too risky, so. 
Alright, I'm gonna go for Coil. I know I could live a hit, or a few hits rather, and then go for Outrage and KO this thing. Yeah, so it worked out! But the way I did it was kind of weird. But this leaves with just three Pokemon left for my opponent. We have Darkrai to deal with. I am stuck in on Outrage. Spatial Rang, eh? You don't see that every day. Spatial Rang Darkrai. We have Focus Sash out because I'm here. Let's go for Focus Blast. Please hit. Okay. Or not hit. It's called Focus Miss for a reason. Are you kidding me right now? This is why Dazzling Gleam is better than Focus Blast. I'm never using Focus Blast again for the rest of my life after what just happened here. I think we lost a match because of this. Okay. And you have Hypnosis. And it's a 50-50. You nailed it, son. You nailed it. Ravon, no! This is unfortunate. Guys, this is bad luck right here. I... Showdown is notorious for bad luck. Alright, well, that's it. I think that's the end of this match. Uh, not really fun. Not really fun when you have bad luck on your side, so... Unfortunately, we have more losses than wins in this episode, but... Hey, I had fun, and that's the bottom line. When you have fun with something, that's what counts. But the end of that match right there was just pure bad luck. I hope we don't go through that again. But anyways, though, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a like and a subscription if you're willing to watch more videos in the foreseeable future. Definitely do that. And comment down on what you like about this video or some advice or what Pokemon I should use in the next episode. Feel free to do that. With that said, have yourselves a great weekend, have a great day, a great night, a great morning, wherever you're watching this. I'll see you guys in the next battle video. Goodbye.